Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of preseason. Today is Tasty Tuesday, and this is one of the most important topics that we're going to cover this week. Um, we often say that uh, making progress is 80% nutrition and 20% fitness. You can't outrun your fork. Um, there's a lot of truth to that. Um, oftentimes people want to eat however they want and work out to make up for that, but it doesn't really work that way, especially if you want to maximize your results. So uh, today's video, I'm going to keep it as short as possible, um, and there will be a supplemental video for any of you new challengers um, in the comments below with really kind of breaking down the meal plan and how to work with the container system. But the big point of today, planning is key, you need to do it, and you will be much more successful if you do. If you talk to anybody who's been in a challenge group before and had success, um, most will probably tell you that they didn't plan how they wanted to initially and when they finally got on the planning uh, train or whatever, um, they really saw that, that um, <clears throat> success happen a little bit more quickly. Um, others will tell you they did it at first and it was great and then they stopped planning and it didn't go so as well. So we all have the same 24 hours in the day. Some of us have full-time jobs, some of us have kids, some of us have what dogs that need to be walked, whatever. We all have a lot of stuff going on, but it will serve you well if you kind of set a little bit of time aside to really get to know this meal plan well, and I want to challenge you to commit to it for the next three weeks. Even if you're not so sure um, that you really like the idea of using containers or you really like the idea of um, being told what you should and should not have, I'm going to challenge you to go for it for three weeks. Give us three weeks. Um, so your one big thing that you need to do is to read through your um, nutrition guide in detail. If you have a hard copy of DVDs, then you're going to have something like this. This is the 21 Day Fix one. This is the Insanity Max 30 one. You're going to have a booklet. If you're using Beachbody On Demand, um, go on your com computer, log into Beachbody On Demand, and when you click on a program on the right side, you're going to see the um, not only the fitness calendar but the nutrition guide. You're going to see all the, the resources that you would get mailed with you if you had the hard copy. Um, really, really important that you do not skip it. A lot of the programs in the last couple years have been using the container system, but they vary a little bit. Um, for instance, Core de Force, which I'm doing right now, actually adds an extra container into weeks two and three because of um, the work that you're doing. So it's important to know what's in there. Read through it. They are designed by professionals. This is not designed for deprivation. This is designed for lifestyle change and sustainability. Um, so please, please, you are here. You've made an investment. If not now, in the past, get the most out of it um, and Consider really going for it. Um, if you're overwhelmed, don't be. It takes time. It takes um, a little bit of a commitment to just kind of push through the hard and wrap your brain around a new way of thinking. But it's a really beautiful one because it took me um, probably six months in, I realized, you know what? I don't look at nutrition facts anymore. I used to study labels for fat and calories and things like that. But now I've started looking at ingredients and that's what really matters. Are we feeding our bodies with the best fuel? And so things like, I'm just gonna give you a couple examples. Peanut butter. Um, there will be labels that say natural. I think Jif does this. It's not, it has added, oftentimes there's added palm oil, there's added sugar, things like that. You wanna look at your, mine says ingredient, ingredient singular, peanuts. Um, sometimes there's a little salt, that's fine, it's not the end of the world. It tastes a little better. Um, but you want to check your ingredients. Peanut butter is a good thing for you. But you want to make sure, too, that you're not using a tablespoon. You're using, you know, if you have one or two teaspoons in your day, plan it out. Here's another great example of reading your ingredients. Salsa. I got this at Aldi. It's cheap and it's organic. Um, and there is no added sugar. But most salsa that you pick up in the store is going to have sugar. Salad dressings. Salad dressings are, so often they have um, MSG, they have high fructose corn syrup, they have sugar, they have all sorts of oils. We want to kind of, we're sticking primarily with like olive oil, coconut oil, um, things like that. So you really want to be aware of what you're putting in your body. When you go shopping, you're primarily going to probably be sticking to the perimeters, uh, perimeter of the store, because that's where you got your fresh produce, you've got your 
um, dairy, all those kinds of things that are just kind of fresh and not processed. So learn to read your labels more than your nutrition facts. Um, using the container system, you know, things like nuts and avocado and cheese aren't a bad thing, but you can eat too much of a good thing. Um, so it's making sure that we've got the right amount of each food so that our body is just thriving as best as it can. But I want to encourage you as you begin to keep it simple, okay? Don't overcomplicate this. If it is easier for you, I, even still, I usually eat the same thing for breakfast most days where I have two different breakfasts that I flip-flop um, through. My Shakeology often fits into a lunch, and that's super easy. Um, I know it's going to give me my, contain my red container, and then whatever I add into it, I usually add a purple, like a half a banana is a purple, uh, and, and, a, and some spinach, so that's my green, and I know there's my red, green, and purple. Easy, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that's my tips um, for this first week. A lot of people are like, oh, I can eye it up. Oftentimes, you're either not getting enough food because it's surprising how much actually fits in that container, or um, you're eating too much of something. So chances are, for a lot of you, you're going to use these containers for the first time, and you're going to say, whoa, this is a lot of food. Yeah, it is. It's because it's giving your body the best nutrition, and a lot of people have big weight loss goals are actually not eating enough food. So we got to make sure, and that's actually working against us and can make you gain weight or not make the progress that you want to make. So it's important that you're really paying attention to this. Um, in the comments below, for those of you who are newbies, there's a much more detailed description from me teaching on kind of working your way through the 21 day fix book. Even if you're not doing 21 day fix, it applies to any program that's in the container system. Um, with different tips. I put files in the files section of this page and I'm also going to put a couple links to recipe resources um, in there for you. If you're someone who likes to do meal prep and I would, it's hard for me to do and take the time to do it but it's so much better when I plan my meals, I've meal prepped, I don't have to do anything during the week except pull it out of the fridge to eat it. Um, I'm going to put some links to the Beachbody blog that has a ton of different meal plans that have um, Basically choose your calorie bracket, choose a meal plan, it's going to give you the grocery list, it's going to give you the step-by-step -step prep, and then you're prepped for the week every meal. It's awesome. Um, so that's that. Have a great day. Make the most of it. Make sure you're getting your, your water in. Half your body weight in ounces is, in, is our goal, but we really want to be aiming for peeing clear, okay? So make sure that you're starting that now because water can make or break the progress. Having enough water is really going to be helpful to you and your overall health. Have a great day and look forward to continuing with this. If you have questions, let us know.